In this video, I'm going to give you a walk around St. Teresa's Superstore. Now, this is a hospice based in Darlington, and they have a number of shops around the area, all donations. As you can see, a lot of it is relatively modern, but some of it is antique. So I'm going to chat to Marjorie, the manager, and we're going to start looking into the possibility of me getting involved with the hospice finding antiques, telling historical stories for you here on YouTube and Facebook, and then hopefully selling them and making some money for the hospice. So first of all, let's take a look around the superstore here in Darlington. Hi, David. Good to see you, Welcome. Marjorie. Welcome. Thank you. This looks very exciting. I mean, it's absolutely enormous. It What's is. going on? Well, this is our um, one of our, our pivotal stores for St. Teresa's and it's furniture mostly but um, we're now moving into selling um, and well, trying to, to collect antiques. Right um, now this is where I'm hopefully going to help you. Okay. Now what do you want me to do when it comes to antiques? Well we'd like you to help us value some of them yeah. or tell us whether it's worth us uh, because also here we've got a restoration department. Oh right. So when there's something um, which is just a little bit uh, damaged or just not of the time. Yeah. Um, we can restore it, uh, breathe new life into it. Very well. That's very environmentally friendly as well. Isn't oh, for it? sure. And we're very conscious of being of sustainability and making sure that we don't um, take too much to the tip. Very good. Um, so now, that's one of our key areas. Is this one of your restored pieces? This one is, yeah. That's lovely. Um, and it, it'll come in, in in really poor state. Yeah. Um, and now it's been sanded down, primed, and then painted by our guys here. Oh, you've got your workshops here? We've got workshops here, yes. So That's fantastic. Everything comes in and it's uh, looked after from the minute it comes through the door to the minute we sell it. And is that the price, 180? Yes. 130? 130. You see, that's very good. I mean, it would cost you substantially more than that to restore it. Oh, absolutely. Well, yes, if you were going to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, but because we've got a team there and they're doing several pieces wow. uh, a day, we can, you know, we can do a, a lot more for a lot less. So have different colours. Let's know, have like a look. Green. So is um, everybody a volunteer here? No, no, no. We've oh, got, some are on we've wages. Got, we've got paid staff. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. We've got paid staff. And a, and a volunteer team to back them up and help them. So, what else have we got? Oh, uh, see, there's a reproduction Sorry. kind of Victorian desk. Oh, w would that have been a donation as well? Oh, it'll de everything you see. Wow. We don't we don't buy in any merchandise at all. Oh wow, I say. So I mean, that's good value for money. It, it is a reproduction of a, yes. a Victorian piece, or maybe even a Georgian piece, but still, it's not bad quality, and it would cost you new you know, many hundreds, and it's 75 quid. I know. It's very good. I know. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. So then we have different colours that we that we use. So, so um, this is one of your restored pieces? Restored pieces. pieces. Um, huh. So they'll all have been done and clean. And let's have a look at that. So let's have a date of that. So it's got a little bit of age, probably 19, maybe 1930s originally. Oh, right. And so... Well, this is where you can help us, Dave. Yeah, yeah. No pieces that are... 95 quid. Yeah, so something that was made, you know, 80 years ago. It's been r restored and uh, recycled. It's good news yeah. for the environment. It is. And, and, and stylish in someone's home. Very now. stylish. Yeah. Wow, how very interesting. Show me some... I'd love to find a really good antique. Uh, Let's have a good mooch around. Can we okay. go into the storeroom? Yes, of course. Oh, I'm going to follow come, you then. Follow the... Come this way. Hostess trolley. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Hostess trolley. Oh know, my God, that's I great. Think, I love them. I, I do. They're, they're very trendy amazing. now. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, okay, David, I'd like to uh, show you around now our eBay uh, station. Oh, I say. Oh, hello. By Stella. Hello, Stella. Oh, hello. Hello. Nice to see you. So, this is the nice eBay you. store. Yeah. Okay, Stella, tell me how this all works. We've got all this stuff here. Is this going on eBay? Right. Everything on this back wall has already been listed on eBay. Right. Everything on the back wall over here has also been listed on eBay. Yeah. And anything that's 
not in those two places is waiting for me to <laughs> list on eBay. My goodness me, you have your work cut out big time, don't you? Absolutely. As quick as you're putting it on, people very kindly bring me more things. My goodness me, this is again. And you photograph it. I photograph the items, everything. Don't you? Um, I obviously have to research a lot of it. Yeah. And then look at what other people are charging and. Adjust right. my price. And on average, how many items do you have on, on, on the site? Um, in excess of 200. Wow. Do you really? And you yes. do it all yourself? Yes. She does. Oh, my goodness. But we're right. looking for volunteers to help Stella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, she's just a little old lady. <laughs> oh, Stella, <laughs> you're far from that. Now, that is interesting to me. That I love, I don't know about you, but I love maps. Now, what do these <laughs> pins mean? Well, that's something that we've sold in it, it, all of those areas we've sold. On your That's eBay? Right. From eBay. That's right. That is um, unbelievable. So right down in South Africa, South America, lots in America, of course. Very few in Canada. Come on, Canadians. Yes, I'm very disappointed in that. I'll get my daughter ring into the oh, yes. <laughs> Stella's daughter lives in Canada, so we should All right, certainly well, have a word with her. There. We've got Russia. We've got China. Japan. Burma. Thailand. Cambodia. Philippines. My goodness Philippines me. is our newest one. Is it? Um, Peter, who was here before me, did most of the um, locations. And I now look, and it's only if I can see there's a, a gap that I actually put a new pin in because it's very time consuming for me to find all <laughs> But it must be a great thrill to it sell is. to a territory in the world that you've never sold to before. Oh, absolutely, because it's, it just means we're expanding. My God, you're absolutely a worldwide organisation <laughs> here. We are. We are. And, and Stella's just been amazing. She's taken up the cudgels of eBay and she's doing it so well. Ah, oh, Stella, well you done are. you. Well, lovely to meet you. Get back to work. I think you've got quite a lot of work to do. Yes. <laughs> Come on, then. OK, thanks. It's been nice to meet you. You too. Bye, Stella. Thank Bye. you. Oh, is this... Um... Secret access. Oh, very good. This is excellent. I love getting places I shouldn't. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness me. It keeps on going, doesn't it? It does. It never ends. So oh, oh. Here we are. This is just coming from a house clearance. Oh, I love that. It's a beautiful chair. Do you know what? The way you describe that as a beautiful chair, a lot of people watching this won't agree with you. <laughs> because look at the state of it. But I agree with you. It is a beautiful chair, isn't it's it? It's a stunning chair. Now, date-wise, let's have a look at those feet. I think that's got to be 1920s. But Do in you? the Yeah, in the Georgian style. Style, OK. Now, so that was given to you. It was. I mean... Just take a look at the quality, hessian, wadding. You can feel the horse hair under there, hardwood frame. You even, I can feel and hear the crunch of the hair. So to make that chair new to that standard would cost you about 3,000 quid. Do you think as much Definitely. as that? Definitely. If really? you could find someone good enough to do I it. I know, and thereby lies our problem. What's the um, problem? Well, problem for reupholstery or working out whether it's really worth us spending that amount of money. Will we recoup it? Yeah. Um, that's our difficulty. It but, is the problem. But I can't bear to see it. No. Just go to the tip. You see, you, you are right. You, you've nailed it. There's a big dilemma here. So that chair, in its state as it is, is, is worth very little. Yeah. 50 quid, 100 quid maybe, if yeah. you're lucky. It's going to cost you at least £1,000 to restore it. But, again, £3,000 to buy something new to the same standard. Right. So, so is it worth that risk? To somebody, it is. Yeah. It is worth yeah. buying from you for little money, but it's all money in your coffers. Oh, sure. And then spending a 1000 quid on it. Why not? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Come on, let's go hunting. OK. Hi there. Right, so you've got clothing as well. Yeah. Well, I don't think I can do much with clothing, but let's have a, any more... Pieces of furniture, or we've got sort of little bits and pieces here waiting to um, from chimney pots. Chimney pots. Oh yeah, 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 they're very trendy. Again, these are all donations, Marjorie. Are, yeah, everything's everything. Donation. That's we marvelous. don't buy in any merchandise at all, so it's all donations. See, that's a kind of a, an older reproduction uh, bed warmer, but still. Yeah. 
bit of fun. Yeah. Let's have um, a look down here. I'm going to squeeze by yeah, that. Yeah, no too. Look at that, you see, there's an Edwardian plant stand. This thing. Definitely Edwardian. So 1910. May, maybe a little later, maybe 1920. Would they be sort of like library stairs? Yeah, or? yeah. Felt a sort of chair that converts into a little step ladder. I don't know what's underneath sort of card. It's absolutely amazing. So, do you get <laughs> stuff in every day? Every day, every day. Virtually, sort of, um, you know, twice a day we'll get a van full of stuff coming in. Apart from people bringing in. Oh, they do. I they just literally well. pitch up, yeah, do they? they do. And do you take everything, or do you have to reject some things? The, the, this, there's a point at which we'll say, look, we really can't take any more books at uh, the moment, yeah. um, or we just can't take any more clothes at the moment. Um, but these are these are all our our amazing volunteer helpers. Who... Ah, right. That's that lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Is there more? Is yes, them, so no, follow me, follow me. Good Lord. It's our pat testing room. Pat testing, very good. Wow, I mean, it's a proper factory going on here, isn't there? <laughs> Hello there. And this is our um, sanding room. All oh, right. So everything George sands down, all of the pieces that we're going to restore. Um, so he's doing a little child's chair at the moment. Yeah, of course. Uh, Can I have a look? Yeah. Do you mind if I come in? Wow, so what what are you doing? You're sanding them down and painting them? Yeah, I'll, I'll sand everything down, the pairs for them to be primed and then to be painted. Wow, okay, how fantastic. I mean, this is fun. This is so environmentally friendly. Do you realise you're all eco-warriors? Do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. Wow, oh my God, this is a proper factory. It is. I mean, and what's this? It is. Painting this area. It's been primed, ready to paint. Wow. Okay. This is, this is Ken, who literally does so look at Ken. new life. In Hello, the Ken. How are we doing? Very nice to see you. What What are you up to here? Well, I'm just patching up. It's like what, what do you call it? That box. Whatever. Yeah, like sewing box, maybe. Sewing even. box. Yeah. So we'll re you repair that. I'm going to repair a new bit of bead in there. Let's have a look. Oh, how lovely. You cut it out or you carve it. I'll carve it in, yeah. You'll carve yeah. all of that? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll piece it and I'll just carve it all in and things like that. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm doing a good wow, do you mind if I have a look at your work? I'll look at that. <laughs> oh, it's not very tidy. Listen, that is my dream. I could spend <laughs> hours fiddling around there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Do you, do you enjoy doing this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Every job's different. And very really creative, nice. isn't it? Yeah. It keeps me going. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, you never get one job the same, you know. No, it's, no. It's so different to that. Oh, it's absolutely fascinating yeah. here. I think I want to come and work here myself. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So then these, these items, Ken will be taking that on next. And this will be painted, will it? No, well, we don't know. What he'll do is he'll check to see um, how badly damaged it is. Yeah. Uh, and if we could restore it in the room. I think the likelihood is, Ken, the likelihood is that this will be painted. The top thing. 30 glazed um, or cracked. Very damaged, yeah. So OK, so you'll probably paint top. it. Well, why not? I mean, again, that's a, a mid-20th century thing in, in, an, in a much earlier style. So it's a reproduction anyway. I think that would be a very good idea. Nice. Yeah. Wow. And we've sold a, a, quite a lot of the, the, the um, paintings. Uh, burn, well, so a lot of faded um, now, so Oh, okay, so, so these are all drying. Just up, waiting. Right? Yeah, they are drying. So oh, okay, well, there you go. There's a dressing um, table. So from, again, the 1920s, 1930s, which would have been a brown wood, of course. It would, yes. Absolutely. But I think that looks modern. And again, to buy something like this, this is the bonkers thing, Marjorie, to buy that brand new to that quality it's going to cost you loads of hundreds of pounds absolutely i know and how much would that sell for do you this think this would probably sell for about 200 i yeah. think so it's a bargain yeah it is a bargain um so the, all of these this yeah. is a new color that we've just introduced and these are all checked you know well you can see what they are self-explanatory but <laughs> cheers, <galore>. cheers. <laughs> cheers. oh my goodness gracious me i mean you could furnish your house here really stylishly Absolutely. very inexpensively 
and Indeed. very environmentally friendly. Uh, absolutely. They're the tenants of our whole business, really. It, yeah, I so get you it. Get lovely old wardrobes. And Again, but earlier part of the 20th. In. Good usable thing, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it just? Lovely. Wow, is that it? No. There's no. more. One more secret Go on, then. to our land stay. Sorry, we have a paint room here. Where I'll just look through the window, shall I? Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> I don't want to disturb him. No, don't stop him. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop him working. <laughs> Wowza. And then, finally, our little clock room. Oh, yeah. A clock room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Just us again. We're just doing a film. Do you mind? Hello, Alan. Do you mind me coming in and having a quick look around? Wow, this is a clock room. So, Alan, what are you doing? Are you restoring and, and repairing? Yeah. Like some of the watches we get, we're donating, put new batteries in and like there. But... Oh, I see, yeah. But, I mean, that's a good watch, DNKY. Yeah, but it's, a, it's a bit of a fashion watch. So this has been donated. Again, yeah. everything's donated. Everything's okay. Donated. Everything, yeah. Wow. Wow, do you mind if I have a look at your workstation? Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, fabulous. I love it in here. Goodness gracious me. It's a proper production line. There you go. There's one on test. Wow, fantastic. Alan, lovely to see you. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Thanks a lot. Right, so Marjorie, what we need yeah. to do then, I suppose, is um, keep in touch, don't we? And oh, then for, sure. for you to just to let me know when you get a, a good house clearance in, I can come and have a look, send them off to auction, make little films on them, that kind of thing. So there's lots of stuff we can do. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I know you'll be a huge help to us because it's that's the area that we really need help in. Because you must, no. you must get good antiques oh, on a regular basis. We and do. this is where I, yeah, I'm going to come in. Yeah. Fabulous. So we're going to see more of you. Oh, well, we hope we see more of you, David. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Lovely to meet you. And you too. Thank you for coming to see us.